At least 11 states are now partially reopened and six more have stay-at-home orders expiring tomorrow. And there is some good news here in Virginia. The governor, Ralph Northam, says that our efforts to slow the spread have worked and now he is taking the first action to scale back some of the restrictions. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell joins us in the newsroom to break down today's update. A lot of people anxious to hear how we're scaling back, Jessica. That's right, John, and we're finally seeing some signs of progress as the governor announced today the first loosening of restrictions we've seen so far, but he still says we've got a long way to go before we can get our lives back on track. Starting Friday, Governor Northam is allowing elective procedures at hospitals and dentist offices to resume, but that will happen with new guidelines in place to ensure everyone's safety. The governor has outlined what it will take to get to phase one of reopening our businesses, including that 14 day decline in cases, but he he says our numbers still aren't flattening out. He was pressured today about whether he really will allow those non-essential businesses to reopen after May 8th. Here's what he had to say. It's not quite as straightforward as the average person might think that well, we're just going to follow the number of positive cases each day. So, so we're looking at all these trends. As you know, we were looking at different models. And, and uh, I think the, the answer to your question is that um, there's you know, nothing set in stone. The governor continues working with his business task force on a plan to reopen, which he still says could happen regionally. It's also worth noting the Virginia Department of Health will now start reporting those cases by zip code, which will in turn affect how we report those numbers to you. In the newsroom, I'm Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.